Let's go. Let's go. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you find yourself. Welcome to IOT Tuesday. I am yours truly, Samuel Chirani. I'm a bit low spirited, but mm, the show must go on. Never mind. Welcome to another episode of IOT Tuesday. It is Tuesday, and as you know, we always try to demystify Internet of Things to the barest minimum for your understanding, for your learning, and for your creative projects and ideas. In today's episode, we'll be taking a look at July IoT. Well, as you know it, July is for IoT. So if you've been planning and wanting to learn IoT, this is the time to do that. So today, we're going to be looking at the July IoT um, project or campaign, as you might have it. Uh, Microsoft and its um, partners and community members have put together some curriculum or platform that will allow you to, you know, uh, learn IoT in a project-based approach. So I'm going to introduce you to that today. I'm show you all the things you need to know, the resources, go through maybe one sample lesson, and then I'll put you on the right track to go do that. And then uh, bring your idea. So I got an email from someone trying to do something with a MX chip into IoT Central, and they were having issues because they had done it several years before. And as you know, IoT Central has evolved, has changed over the years. So we'll try to see if we can replicate that on the show today. So stick and stay with me. If this sounds like something you want to do, don't go anywhere. When we come back, we will get right into it. Um, is the sound better now? I think it should be better now. Thank you, Gideon, for prompting me uh, on that. 
Really appreciate that. So this nifty thing here is the Argon 1 M2 enclosure. Now, what this is, awesome, awesome. Thank you, Gideon. Um, what this is, is actually an enclosure for the Raspberry Pi. Okay, it's an enclosure for the Raspberry Pi. Now, it allows you, um, what this allows you to do is, it allows me to connect the Raspberry Pi into kind of like, you know, a mini computer of its own. But the cool part is that it allows me to actually set up my Raspberry Pi with this um, M2 um, M2 um, drive, M2 SSD drive. So there's a one uh, 512 gig, uh, gigabyte um, SSD drive. So this enclosure allows me to use this with the Raspberry Pi. And if you've been following uh, the channel, I made mention that um, I'll be deploying Home Assistant onto this Raspberry Pi, running at least 512 or one terabyte of space so that I can have Home Assistant running to actually do all my home automation. Today, I am using um, Smart Life, but I want to take everything offline and keep it in the local environment. So I'll be using this. So this, um, I'll probably post it, uh, make a post in my blog for you to see how I'm working on that. So yeah, back to this. So if you've been wanting to learn IoT um, and you've been putting it off, I want to learn and you want a project-based approach or kind of like something that would help you to do that, then um, you should do that in this month of July. You know, take like 30 days and try to learn something awesome. So let's come here and let me share with you um, the whole concept of July OT. So July OT is pretty much um, an initiative, you know, Microsoft and the community partners trying to bring you a whole month long of um, learning IoT, all right? Um, there are cloud skill challenges, there are digital swags you can get, there are live streams, there are meetup events, and all the resources are in one place for you if you want to learn IoT, okay? So I think there's a very systematic approach. There are resources that you can go through. We'll explore all that today. Um, and then you see how useful it is. Now, the content that is being used for July OT is MIT licenses, it's open source, or let's say it's, it's, MIT, it's an MIT, which means that you can pick the content, change the curriculum, use it in your classrooms, use it in your meetup groups, use it in your, you know, your boot camps, use it, you know, anywhere you are, you, you, you're, you're giving IoT, you're doing IoT training, you can leverage and use this resource. Okay. So... Um, and the, the, the James and his team have done really an awesome work and they'll be posting updates. They started 1st of July. They'll be posting updates, you know, every time on the blog. So this is your first resource, um, which you should, um, have. We'll try to put this here in the chat so you can see it. Um, that's your first resource. Let me put things here. So you could, if you click on start here, now obviously, so this is going to open things up for you. So if you say that this is going to take you to the blog, which is just same here, but then you will see the current, I mean, um, the current blog post that has been done. So pretty much community members are contributing towards, you know, IoT learning. Um, some of them will put articles and stuff there that you can, you know, check out and test, you know, try around if you want to. So here you see uh, today is 5th. There's a new blog post by Dave Glover. Thank you very much, Senior Cloud Advocate, for sharing this. Uh, running the, um, the altar everywhere. So pretty much they have this. If you if you go from, you know, from 00, which is, you know, the one when it started, which was a kickoff, there was a kickoff session. <coughs> Sorry about that. There's a kickoff session where pretty much they introduced it, all right? Um, what you need, the resources and people you should be expecting, um, the audience, which is beginners, makers, students, you want to learn AI, you know, so the very first part of it, right? Digital swag, as I mentioned, um, the second, you know, second day or the second post, which was first July, uh, pretty much, <coughs> sorry guys, pretty much exposed that to the resources that 
you know, was used. And then also um, opening up the opportunity for you to compete um, in a cloud skill challenge that you can eventually get certified for. All right. And there was um, there was a meetup. All right. For this. And like I said, there's going to be uh, continuous meetups and streams for it all the time. So you can register for the meetups by going here or you can go to the YouTube channel and then watch. All right. So as you can see, um, the first part, which was getting, you know, pretty much welcome to July OT, getting started. And then um, there is there was another article uh, for day one, which is getting started with Nano Framework. So this allows you to use .NET and C Sharp to build your IoT project. And that's one of the cool things about running .NET and C Sharp. With .NET and C Sharp, you can build for IoT, you can build for games, you can build for mobile, you can build for the cloud. You can, be for, you can build for mixed reality. So it's a good time to know C-Sharp and to do uh, .NET. So if, you, if you're thinking about it, you know, this is the time to, you know, get into it as well. <coughs> Sorry about that. Then, you know, IoT for Beginners, the 2nd July, and then the resources are there. It walks you through. Again, like you said, you can start the course. Um, there's a course outline. So introduction, building an IoT, night lights, the architecture, the logistics, what you need. And then there is a stream to accompany that, all right? Now, when you get started, all these resources are available for you to get to use, okay? So like I said today, we're going to explore all the options and resources we have, and then we'll take at least one or two of the curriculum topics, and then we'll, you know, we'll expand that today, and then we'll, we'll try to segue into something else if we have the time. So let's start with welcome one. And so let's join the, um, the, the cloud, the cloud challenge, the cloud skills challenge. Uh, so you can also upskill by joining the cloud school challenge. You can learn, um, with other beginners and then you can also have the digital swag. So like I said, you know, that's the beginning IoT for beginners when it started. Uh, and here you can watch it on YouTube. It's available for you to go watch when it started. You can, you know, go check that out. <coughs> Sorry um and then getting started with another framework so let's let's just jump into it so here's a the challenge um 41 days um you're going to compete right now we have a, a leaderboard and we see chris leading it he's done eight out of the 27 so if you want to be on this leaderboard go join the cloud skill challenge and then you know knock things out and then you, hey who knows um is this a bunch of learn stuff that will help you to do that i will join the challenge um, so actually let's just, let me just go ahead and, and join the challenge any which ways whilst we go and then do that. So, um, day one, first July. So there, yeah, they're just starting here. So let's go to IoT for beginners and let's start this course. All right. <coughs> Sorry. Let's start this course. Um, I want to use this to be the, the start. And now, um, what you will need, all right. In previous times when July OT has been done, you're going to need a Raspberry Pi and then some sensors because it's project based. Um, key, key amongst, hello, happy. <laughs> hello, hey, hello, hello, happy Cutted Live today. Good, good, good. Awesome, awesome, man. Welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome to the show, Emmanuel. Welcome. So, um, there it's, it's project based, which means that uh, for this particular one, you're going to start off with a smart guarding all right and so you're going to use you know the soil moisture sensor temperature humidity all that and then it's going to move on to okay now that you've grown your vegetables how do you use let's say ai to determine the fruits that are you know ripe or good versus those that are not good and also doing some kind of like tracking when your food leaves the farm to your you know your 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 retail or grocery store and then other stuff so it's very applicable it's in small scales, but applicable for you to use in your, you know, everyday IoT stuff. Okay. So <coughs> let's get into it. So go, let's go, let's go, let's go. And don't forget, like I mentioned, if you are on the landing page, all the resources are there. The cloud skill challenge, the digital swag, the resources, the meetups and events. So please make sure you go and register for the meetups. Um, it's a live stream. You can join them you know, live listening and watch. There is also um the, the calendar of events. So let me share this as well. Okay. 
for you to also uh, peruse. So this is a calendar of event, as you can see. First July, lesson one is an introduction. I can open this out. The 8th of July, which is uh, three days from now, there's going to be a deeper dive into IoT uh, on the 15th. So these are the events for the, I think, the live streams and then the other stuff. So yeah, you can go ahead, you see. So IoT for beginners, you can actually um, RSVP and then you join the live stream from Jim himself and then you can, you know, go through the process. But... <coughs> But um, you can also, you know, at your own pace, do this, all right? You are not necessarily obliged to, you know, follow, you know, everything they are doing. You can pretty much go at your own because the resources are all available for you, okay? So, um, standard AIML game of learners. Okay, okay, okay. So, yeah, Ima from Kenya says that um, AIML game of learners also started today. Um, the, the channel has helped him grow. Yeah, awesome, awesome. So, also, AI staff, ML, uh, Game of Learners is also running. Um, Imani, if you can drop the link, I can share that on the show as well so people can go check it out. So, yeah, uh, let's look at the resources <clears throat> uh, at the edge. So, there you go. So, for IoT for Beginners, there's an IoT Beginner Curriculum, okay? 24 Lessons Curriculum. And this is what I was talking about. <coughs> Sorry. This is crazy. <coughs> The IoT for Beginners curriculum is what I was talking about that you can pretty much use it to teach your local community, kids, you know, it, anyhow you want to use this, MIT, you can use it. Then embedded IoT, where you're going to get familiar with platforms end to end. So things like um, the IoT University, where you're going to use like the microchip um, IoT course. Uh, I think I have a microchip here. I'll try to show it out. And then AI at the Edge, where you can use... Um, edge devices okay to run iot so paul DiCarlo would also be running that and then you can get certified after you've gone through this july iot project so you can build end-to-end -end applications you can sit also for the az220 certification exams all right so all these things at your disposal now this is the this is the github repo for iot for beginners um let me drop that here as well <clears throat> all right so if you go here, you should see everything. And this, this graphics, you know, sketch note by uh, Nitya, awesome, awesome, awesome person, does some really um, awesome stuff. If you, if you go into it, you would, you would see. So here, everything is here. So getting started, um, introduction, the link lesson, everything is here. All right. Everything is here for you to look at, you know. So you see that I was saying getting started the farm, uh, predict plant growth, detect soil moisture. So pretty much linked lessons and the objectives, pretty clear. So if you are someone who likes to teach involved in IoT, you can use this resource as well. So this is the, um, the microchip Azure classes as well. So create a managed IoT device. Um, it's free. Um, it's about 62 minutes long. So all these resources are also accessible for you to use in the month of July to learn IoT. O T. All right. Now, remember, if you have any questions so far, please um, don't hesitate. You can you can drop the questions, and um, I'll try as much as possible to you know to answer that. So let's let's start the course. Okay. So let's start this one, and just follow through and see how that goes. And then we will probably segue into. So again, it brings you to um, it brings you to the GitHub repo. Okay, and then you can you can get started. Let's let's get rid of this first. So let's go ahead. <clears throat> um, let's see. There you go. Lesson one. <coughs> so they are also using the um, MX. Uh, sorry, the the uh, wheel terminal. All right. So this section of the curriculum will just introduce you to the Internet of Things. And then you're going to learn basics, you know, building your first hello world and stuff like that. So if you go through this and you open the lessons, you see the introduction, a deeper dive, interaction, physical. So this is very simple. Again, now, if you don't have um, a real stimula, terminal, sorry, don't freak out. Okay, don't freak out. You can pretty much use any other Arduino enabled board. All right. 
to learn and follow with these things. Just that you need to have equivalent sensors like this one. They're using um, an LED, all right? So you need to have equivalent sensors to replicate it because if you don't have this, that shouldn't deter you from, from learning it, okay? So let's do, let's go here. And um, let me open blessings here. And let's open this one. And there you go. So as you can see, if you go through it, there is the 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 image and then there is the video that was done there is a pre-lecture quiz and then you have you know all the all the notes and activities and stuff you're going to use so le let me quickly take you to um the bench and like i said we'll be leveraging the raspberry pi i have got um a pi uh this is it is a four by four model B, um, eight gig, and I'll be using this uh, Groove Shield. And what this Groove Shield will allow me to do is it would allow me to connect the various Groove sensors you see in the box below to it without having to hustle and stre stress uh, over, you know, I'll just use JTAG and I have a bunch of Groove sensors in here without having to stress over um, 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 soldering iron, jumper cables and wires and, you know, all that, all that stuff. Okay. So pretty much that's it. So let's get in here. Uh, so let's go ahead and, you know, this really is, this is cool. All right. So let's, let me see if I can. Yeah, there you go. So you have uh let me let me download the raw file okay so i can use i can use this uh there are slides and stuff like that okay so there you go let's see every image i'm gonna put it on a desktop so that i can share this we can zoom through it and you see the various aspects of of this so this should be here let's open this up and bring this here whilst it's loading. There you go. So I'm going to, yeah, zoom in quite big. So as you can see, getting started, what is IoT, all right? IoT devices around us, setting up your device and then applications of IoT. So if you look closely, it goes this way so we start from here and then we come here actually let me see if i can yeah yeah let's just do it this way so i can i can get it in there yeah so there you go Defini definition of iot i've done this several times on the show it's just connecting physical well to the internet all right um using sensors and then internet of things uh things of of it as large ecosystem whereas you know gathering data interacting and connecting uh you can either do this on the cloud or on the edge uh you can also use actuators um the iot is more than just devices okay you can either process stuff in the cloud or in the edge if you don't have you know if you have sparring or little to no internet connectivity you can also run your ai uh, IoT stuff on the edge locally, all right? Um, and then there's a trend, all right? Uh, the technology trend is growing pretty fast. I think I've shared this a number of times. Um, active devices in billions from 2015 all the way up to 2025 projected. Uh, we're going to have about 30 billion devices, okay? And about 80 zettabytes of data, which is huge, all right? Um, then do the research. Uh, how much, you know, of created IoT data do we use? How much do we waste? How can we do the, keep it better? Then you move on to let's talk about devices. Then you the, have the whole curriculum that, you know, um, walks you through devices for development, for production. Um, and then, like I said, you have microcontroller and then a single board computer, right? Two different things. So the Raspberry Pi is a single board computer, you know, a bit high performance can do multitasking versus single uh, microcontrollers which is good for single focus tasks cannot do multi 
you know, uh, multi-processing or multitasking. So seed and Raspberry Pi. These are your two options. Okay, like I said, if you don't even have any of these, and you have any either Arduino um, compatible device, you can still follow along with your own, you know, your own sensors. Okay. Then we'll talk about microcontrollers. We'll talk about the single board computers. And um, it goes all the way, you know, the hardware of choice, whether I want to use a microcontroller, a single board. But then again, don't stress it. If you don't have it, you can also use a virtual device. I think there is a virtual uh, Raspberry Pi you can use to also learn and simulate it. If you also have Arduino developer kit, like I said, works fine. All right. C, C++ is going to be the language used. You can easily follow with it. But if you prefer to, you know, use uh, C sharp.net, then you're looking at nano framework, you know, deploying nano framework on the Raspberry Pi and not Arduino. All right. Good. So then you set up your device online. Um, then we can talk about building applications. And then, you know, you can transition um, all the way to consumer IoT, commercial IoT, industrial IoT, infrastructure IoT, you know, which again, smart grid, smart cities. I have a whole video on IoT and all that as well. So as you can see, the curriculum is quite, you know, is quite packed with 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 literally all you need to succeed and learn in this IoT ecosystem. So I would entreat you to go check it out. The resource is there. Look, you can download it and use it and make sure you, you know, you give the credit, you know, but all that you need to run a successful IoT for beginners or July OT project can be found here. With our company videos, make sure you keep in mind the event date, all right, so that when they join, when they start, you can join and learn live, all right, all right, yeah, 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 yeah. Any questions? If you have any questions? Just drop them in the chat, all right. Now the next thing that I want to talk about. So, someone sent a message that they had been using an MX chip. Okay, and they were trying to use the MX chip with Logic Apps. So for those of you that don't know what Logic Apps is, Logic Apps is a Microsoft product for automation, you know, that allows you to, you know, automate business processes, okay, or what you might want to call business process automation using some, you know, graphical interface. Pretty much low code, no code. So Logic Apps had been there running for a while, way before, you know, the whole Power Automate started. Because Power Automate is built on top of Logic Apps or Microsoft Flow, so to speak. Okay. So this was in Richard and said they're trying to connect an MX chip to IoT Central and then to for it to trigger something, you know. Let me see if I can pull that email out and then I'll share it with you. I'll, you know, blank out the places. Um, yeah, yep, yep, yep. Let's see. I'm trying to move it. Uh, awesome. I'm trying to get, I want to get the actual. Um, let me get the actual email the passing send is that uh, outlook i wish i could put it yeah well because i've not filtered it i will not um i'll not just jump and put it on it so let's go ahead where is that where is that where is that where is that i know it's added here so okay yeah, I don't have to just open your mind. But well, bottom line is that the person was trying to use MX chip. For those who don't know what the MX chip is, let me get the MX chip for you. Let me get the MX chip for you. There you go. So this, this is the MX chip. All right. Um, it has on board an LCD, it has a 
magnetometer, a pressure, temperature, humidity, accelerometer, gyroscope. Um, it has a, a microphone, uh, an LED is Wi-Fi based. It can connect to Azure. Um, yeah, so this is this is a dev kit that came up a while ago, the MX chip um, that allowed for connectivity to um, how do you call it? Uh, uh, Azure IoT for easy prototyping so you could do stuff. Now, this person wanted to do some kind of um, configuration where when the button is pressed, you know, it, it triggers. Yeah, now I remember, yeah, when they pressed a button, it triggers a logic app. So maybe the logic app could be sending an email when this button is triggered, you know, via it is maybe sending the temperature stuff. So what time have we got? 10 minutes oh man yeah i was hoping we could we could actually do this but yeah i have done a video setting this mx chip up before so i would refer you to the video in setting it up but then what i will promise to do in the next episode before we get we continue what we're doing is i'll show you exactly how to connect this all right um i mean to to send the button clicks to call a logic app or in this case Azure Functions or what you might even call um, Power Automate. All right. So this is it. This is an MX chip. All right. Yeah. So takeaway today um, before we wrap up is we have like nine minutes for the show to end. It's um, make sure you subscribe to July OT. I'm going to do that. I'm going to start taking the challenge. I'm going to block a couple of hours uh, myself uh, in a week to go through the challenge and work through it. So um, if this sounds like something that's of interest to you, I wanted to open up for people who have questions to come up with their questions. I also promise that I'll be fusing industrial IoT and AI to this channel. So it's not just um, consumer IoT, all right? Um, so it's going to be on or hobbyist IoT, so to put it. So it's going to be hobbies. We're going to do commercial. We're going to do industrial IoT. So I want to bring a friend, actually a mate of mine from school, who is doing industrial IoT, so conveyor belt, automation, PLC, PCL programming, and stuff like that. He has a YouTube channel, does that. But I'll bring him on onto the show so he can share with us what he's doing with um, how, you know, how you can go about setting things up. So if this sounds like um, something of interest to you, and you want to take part in the July OT, please, please feel free. Use all the resources I have shared, um, you know, to get yourself to get yourself started. And yeah, keep me informed. Keep me updated. If you have any questions and suggestions and ideas, I will throw it up to you. Now, I had a conversation with someone on one of my shows over the weekend. And I like an, a concept, even though, you know, I have been thinking of like, how to go about it i want to borrow from you know from christine's concept where the last the last episode of iot tuesday in every month would be a challenge okay so what do i mean by a challenge from now to the last episode of iot tuesday so let's check when the last episode is for the month so we usually do AMA, Ask Me Anything, in the last episodes of the month. But, so Friday, Friday, Friday is going to be 29th, all right? So the 29th of July, which is the last Friday and the last episode in the month, is always going to be both Ask Me Anything and then a challenge. Now, what is this challenge? So from now till that day, you can tweet at me, you can tag me you can share me you can whatever you want to do a solution or a project or something you want us to build live on the show so that during that last session we will just build that on the show as that project i'm going to take it again if you have any project any idea any suggestions right the last episode of iot tuesday now will be not just ask me anything but also a challenge so a challenge which means that from now until that date dropping ideas dropping suggestions of things you want us to build live on the show so if it is building a smart dustbin we'll try to wrap, wrap you know ramp up through it 
and then we'll build it. So that's why I want to so keep the suggestions coming so that prior to that, when we pick the winning challenge, if there has to be setting backend things done because of sake of time, we'll do that. But else, we will try to build that whole thing on the show. Well, I hope that was interesting enough for you. Um, don't forget to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Subscribe here, right here. Yeah, here, here. Don't forget to subscribe to the show. Like, comment, share. Drop a like, you know, share it. Tell friends to connect. Let's meet again next Tuesday. And let's have some fun, all right, with IoT. Come with your open mind. Come with what you want us to build. And let's have fun, build some stuff. If you still have any problems, remember you can reach me at hello at sadrani.me. Okay. So to then, July OT, go sign up, follow the trend, share, tweet, make noise about it. Let's learn something new. Let's make the world a better place through technology. Stay safe until I come your way again next Tuesday. It has been yours truly, Samala Adrani. I am out.